What's up guys, welcome to the Crypto Nation channel. In today's video, I will go over how to buy and sell Solana NFTs using the Phantom Wallet or any Solana wallet of your choice. I will explain the three main steps to buying and selling NFTs from creating an NFT digital wallet, how to interact in the Solana based ecosystem, and finally how to buy and sell Solana NFTs. It is highly important that you don't miss a single step in this video, so make sure to watch till the very end and subscribe if you haven't, it will be very much appreciated. Big disclaimer though, there is no guarantee that you will be profitable with NFTs, even more so when we're speaking about Solana or Cardano NFTs, being that they are not really built on Ethereum and right now in October 2021, the action is mostly on Ethereum, however there is a lot of potential for other NFTs on other blockchains to have value in the future. So if you are interested in Solana NFTs and the potential, this video is just for you. Now the first step to buying NFTs is actually creating an NFT wallet or a wallet that supports NFTs. When it comes to Solana, it is not supported at the moment on Metamask. So for Solana wallets, there are three main options. There is Soulflare, there is Solate and there is a Phantom wallet. And out of all these three wallets, I prefer Phantom. I think it has the best user experience and make sure whichever wallet you use that when you go to the website, it is actually the real website. It is highly important that you do not get yourself involved in a phishing scam and have your crypto stolen from you in any sort of way. So make sure the site is correct. I will put all the links to all three sites in the description below. So once you have actually added the Phantom Wallet to your Chrome, all you have to do is now create a digital wallet to contain your Solana digital assets. So for phantom.app, we are going to create a wallet and it's very similar to creating a MetaMask wallet. You create a wallet and it gives you a 12 word seed phrase. That is your ultimate password. You keep that safe and offline and then you can start interacting. So let's go ahead and create phantom wallet. We're going to add to Chrome and now we are going to add it to Brave add extension. And once that's set up, we will create a new wallet and something I want to point out here is you can see right here in the top left, Phantom is in beta. The Solana ecosystem is very, very new right now. We are all pretty much beginners in this space. If we go to this other wallet, Solate, it pretty much says the same thing that we are in beta. So we're very new into this ecosystem right now. It has not proven itself yet, but there is such huge potential. So with Phantom, we're going to create a new wallet. And here is our 12 word seed phrase. This is the ultimate password. Make sure to store this in a safe place. Whoever gets access to these 12 words will have access to your wallet. So you're going to have to copy this. And once you have that saved somewhere, you will need to create your own password. So we're going to save that. And once we have the wallet ready, we have to actually fund the wallet. And luckily, it's pretty easy to buy Solana on many exchanges. Now, it's pretty much available everywhere. It's available on exchanges such as Binance, Coinbase, FTX, US Kraken, Crypto.com and many other places. So once you have your wallet set up, then you're going to send Solana to the wallet. And something I want to note very important is because there are essentially no gas fees on Solana. Yes, there are gas fees, but they are basically zero. I definitely would recommend that always sending out or sending a small amount to begin with. Maybe send 10 or $20 just to make sure you know you're doing everything correctly so here is phantom wallet in the extension and when you open the wallet here is the receive so i'm going to select receive send from wallet or exchange and this is the address right so i'm going to copy this address whether it's from coinbase kraken binance or any other exchange i'm going to send it to this address and remember do it with a small amount to begin with. Like I said, because the fees are so cheap and you want to do this correctly at first. Also, if you have an FTX account, you can deposit directly from FTX and you can sign in. That's another option as well. Now let's move on to buying Solana from an exchange and sending it to your wallet. When buying a Solana based NFT, you need to bear in mind the exchanges that include Solana 
These exchanges would be Binance, Crypto.com, Coinbase, and a few other exchanges, as we can see on CoinGecko. Since you have your Phantom address copied, you will need that when buying Solana from one of these exchanges. Use an exchange that you find most comfortable. For me, that will be Binance. So first, what you will have to actually do is hover over Buy Crypto and select the credit or debit card option. Once you have that done, you will be on this page and you will have to select the currency you'll be buying with. In my case, it will be GBP, but I assume a lot of you guys will be buying using US dollars. So then you will have to change BTC to Solana, click on BTC and then type Solana and click on Solana. Once that is done, type up the amount you want to buy in GBP for Solana, then you'll be asked for some verifications, get them done and then hover over wallet and then click on fiat and spot. Over there you will find Solana with some options on the side. In our case we want to essentially move our Solana tokens over to our phantom wallet. This is where our phantom wallet address comes into place. You will have to click withdraw. I'll just use Bitcoin as an example here and under the address section you will have to paste your phantom wallet address and then select the suitable network and then send. Once that is done you will have Solana tokens in your phantom wallet in a couple of moments. Now we are ready to buy some Solana NFTs. Now the final step is actually finding a Solana NFT in the marketplace and buying your NFT. So once you have your wallet set up and funded now, we can actually go into the Solana NFT marketplace and buy Solana NFTs. Now the main place in October of 2021 for Solana NFTs is Solana.io and you notice when you go to the website it says welcome to Solana beta warning Solana is in beta like I said earlier the Solana ecosystem NFT space is extremely early a lot of these apps are still in beta so something important to note is that they are still in beta so once we have that set up we are actually going to connect our wallet just like we would do this on wearable or open and I'm going to select phantom wallet connect wallet and then it will ask me allow site to connect I will select connect and then we are in. Now we can start buying Solana NFTs in the aftermarket. And because this is a very new system, we don't have many tools. We don't have many rarity tools at the moment in October of 2021 that I know about where we can rank these NFTs by volume and by activity. So for now, in these early stages, a lot of it is just manual research. And in terms of very popular Solana NFTs, we saw that Degenerate Apes NFTs put Solana in the top 10. This is a very popular NFT project currently that is on Solana. And if we see in the marketplace with these Degenerate Apes, the floor price is quite high. So Solana, another popular project at the moment for Solana NFTs is so punks and you'll start to notice that a lot of what we're seeing here in Solana NFTs and really in most NFT ecosystems are copies of what we have seen in Ethereum projects that were successful. So with this project Degenerate Apes, they are trying to be the next board API club. These soul punks are trying to be the next crypto punks and if we go through this market we'll start to notice there aren't that many projects. Well I repeat it again, we're brand new in this Solana ecosystem and a lot of projects are still in beta and we can almost see everything going on in the market at the moment however over time it is likely the market will become very oversaturated with projects just like we see with the ethereum ecosystem it's pretty much oversaturated with projects and a lot of these projects are doing the typical you know 10 9 11 000 nfts similar like the crypto punks or board ap yak clubs a proven model we also have some projects that are similar to art blocks such as fract that create generative art like we have on ethereum but we have it on solana and if we go to this website solana.com ecosystem i will leave a link down below you can select on nfts and you can see that some of the nft projects in the ecosystem but like i said it's still like a brand new space that you can pretty much see all the projects on solana art so all you have to do is basically connect your wallet, which you have funds in now, and then just connect it to the Solana marketplace by clicking on collect and connecting your phantom wallet. Then once that is done, you just click on the NFT that you wanna buy, 
and then just buy and sell as you wish. Now in this video, I'm not telling you guys to buy any NFTs or even recommending you any NFTs. It is highly your choice. But yeah, that is how you can actually buy and sell Solana NFTs using the Phantom Wallet. If you made it this far into the video, hit the thumbs up button and if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then make sure to subscribe and like this video and comment down below your thoughts on what we think about the Solana NFT marketplace. But yeah guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.